Hi, this is Shane Bishop with the EU Image Optimizer, and today I want to show you how to uh, use the Chrome Dev Console and Network tab to troubleshoot AJAX or JavaScript issues uh, when you're using, for example, the WordPress Media Uploader or something like the EWWW Image Optimizer uh, bulk optimization process. Um, so either of those you can run into some issues and so we're going to show you how to figure out what's going on. Um, so just as a first example, here's the WordPress uploader. So whether you're using, you know, the dedicated uploader or you're in a new post and add an image there, uh, it, the same stuff will apply. So let's just go ahead and upload a random image. And everything's peachy um, so sometimes you might get an error and so we're gonna simulate that all right so if you've seen this sort of error before you might look at it and go what in the world in this case the server was restarted in the middle of the upload and that's what happens the upload fails um, but if you don't know what happened, how do you figure that out? You know, it could be any number of things. It might be a bug in a plugin, could be, you know, some other error on your server. And so let's open up the Chrome dev tools and have a peek. So to do that, I usually just right click and hit expect inspect. Uh, you can do that just about anywhere on the page on Windows, it would be Control Shift I or Control Shift C for console. Um, same on Linux. On Mac, of course, Command Shift uh, C. I don't think Command Shift I actually works for some odd reason, but Command Shift C works just fine. And then we'll head on over. Uh, one place that can be useful is the console. And here, of course, it says the server responded with a status of 502. So that's a bad thing. Again, we know what happened here, but if you don't, you would check your server logs or ask your web host to check those. But if it's something else, uh, we can come over to the network tab, which will show all the things that are going on behind the scenes. And specifically, we're going to look at XHR requests, which are XML HTTP requests, XHR. And so let's have a look. We've got one already here um, that is a WordPress heartbeat request. And so in here, when we click on one of these uh, requests, we can see, oh, hey, here's what was sent to the server. Uh, these are the different parameters that were sent, an interval of 60, the action of heartbeat, um, the screen ID, in other words, where you know where are we accessing wordpress from that's what was sent to the server what we got back um, is the time to make sure that uh, we're not getting uh, timing attacks or something like that and a response of true that yes we're still authorized and yes we're still logged in our session hasn't timed out or anything like that so what about an upload so an upload is going to naturally look a little different. And these are sent to a little bit different endpoint. Instead of admin Ajax, they're sent to the async upload endpoint. And there's two of them. So the first one returns a number. Well, that's awesome. Well, it was sent. So it sent, you know, the file name, uh, some other placeholder data, post ID that says, oh, hey, this is from this post or whatever. And then the data that was sent, the image data. And of course it doesn't show that because that would look like garbage. Um, and then the response, like I said, was just the number and that's the attachment ID. And that's used in this next request in the payload. Attachment ID, same number. And so it's asking WordPress, okay, we got this attachment ID that you said we uploaded. Now, 
give us what it's doing is it's looking for this HTML to display uh, the the thumbnail and, and all that so that's what's gonna get back is this HTML here and so that's what it looks like so on with the show right so let's uh, take a look over at the bulk optimizer and we are going to in the middle of this we're going to do another simulated failure um, but you know we go to the bulk optimizer and if you've ever had an error on here you're like oh man now what so here's what so that sent off a couple uh, requests and of course it's a bulk scan that's what it's doing it's scanning looking for images to optimize and then it sends a couple other parameters for these different checkboxes and stuff and then the response is in JSON and so it'll kind of display that a little nicer here it won't just give us the raw stuff which looks like that um, but it'll tell us no bad attachments found that's part of the automatic uh, failure detection that's built into the plugin so it something like that it just keeps on going if it has too many failures I think it's like 50 failures in a row then the whole thing just craps out and dies but otherwise it's it's usually pretty resilient but this is what it'll look like it'll have the HTML and all that um, needed to uh, display the progress during the scanning process now what happens if we start it up we're gonna get similar admin Ajax requests um, and it'll take about 20 seconds it does them in about 20 second batches give or take um, if someone was six seconds so it says it completed eight and here's the current time and then it has some HTML used for displaying the results for you all nice and pretty so if you see other garbage in here you see error messages in any of these requests um, that's what we're looking for to figure out what's going on um, you can always check the server error logs again or have your web host do that for you uh, one thing that you can do uh, if you're just getting you know like a generic 500 502 504 error or something like that um, is to turn on the uh, the WordPress debugging constant and that's this guy right here and the debugging in WordPress article talks about that a whole lot more um, and that will um, sometimes then print out the errors instead of just saying hey there was an error <laughs> um, it'll give you a little bit more information on, on how to track that down what plugin might res be responsible and all that and yeah so right here we're going to simulate what would happen if it failed just like that temporary failure and it's going to keep trying for 30 seconds we'll start the server back up and then it should keep right on going and off it goes so that's what normally happens when there's a temporary failure um, but if there's something else hopefully that helps you figure out what it is and you know if you can't make sense of what you're seeing shoot us a screenshot or a screencast and we'll be glad to help you at support at eww.io have a great day and happy optimizing